Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick Nig. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the Twilight Zone. More specifically, about one of my favorite Twilight Zone episodes ever. It comes from season one. And what surprising detail. In fact, it is a shocking detail. In fact, I don't think I can figure out what's going on here. If you could let me know in the comments below, this would be really helpful. I just want to get into it, but before I do, I want to thank all of you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. It's really one of the best ways to support my channel. It's absolutely free to do so. So the first episode that I'm going to be talking about, the one I'm going to specifically focus on, is from season one, episode six. It's called The Escape Clause. Now, in this one, we have a man named Walter Bedecker. He's played by David Wayne, by the way, the Mad Hatter in the Batman 60s television series. Now, this man is a hypochondriac. He decides to sell his soul to the devil. Why? He exchanges it for several thousand years of immortality. He wants to live forever. And what's really crazy is we do get to meet the devil here. He doesn't call himself the devil, but essentially he agrees that he is. His name is Cadwallader. Now this man here, let's just say the devil for now, he comes and visits Mr. Walter Bedeker and he bargains with him. The back and forth between both of these characters is really interesting, really in depth says a lot about the morality of you know what it means to sell your soul i won't go into all of that but it's really fascinating if you haven't looked at that it's one of my favorites ever but something that you may not have noticed is what the quote-unquote devil here is wearing now he's wearing a suit that's pretty obvious but i do want to point out when this episode came out it aired november 6 1959 so keep that in mind because it's going to make sense in a little bit now here is the character Cadwallader here, as also known as the devil. Do you notice anything interesting or unique about him? Well, what if I zoom in a little into his little pin? He has a little pin, which honestly I never really noticed. Finally, when I realized this, I was blown away. Because it's not just a pin of anything, like an American flag or maybe a little character or anything. It's actually something kind of haunting. And to me, it doesn't make any sense. But it's a little devil. It has two little horns. It looks like it has fangs or some kind of teeth. I know it's not the most clear picture because remember it is a very zoomed in picture. It's the clearest one we can get. I'll show you a few angles of it zoomed in. But does this remind you of anything, big Twilight Zone fans? Does it remind you of an episode a little farther into the Twilight Zone series? An episode called The Nick of Time. It's from Season 2, Episode 7. Now, it came out a year after the original Escape Clause episode. Now, remember, these episodes are not tied in in any way. Twilight Zone primed itself on being an anthology series. Each episode is unique from the other. Nothing really ties it together except, of course, Rod Serling, the narrator, the mysterious figure that we meet. But in this one, you know, of course, you have Bill Shatner, William Shatner, and he plays a husband in this pair of newlyweds who stop at a small town, and they're trapped in their own superstition when playing this little fortune-telling machine in a local diner. Now, if you notice, there is this fortune-telling machine that you see here, and there's a little character on top with horns, teeth, an eye and a closed eye kind of winking at you this is the character look at him it is this thing this character this little devil that is pinned on the devil character of the first episode now why is this so mind-blowing because you have to think about this how did rod serling do this did he come up with this little devil character known as the mystic seer who shows up in later in the nick of time but he originally introduces it here on this pin lapel that they never really focus on. They never really talk about. It's just there. It's just worn. And it's not really obvious. It's just in the background, like a little secret. And then it's like foreshadowing for a character that would be used a, a year later, which to me is mind blowing. This leads me to believe that this mystic seer is possibly in other episodes of the Twilight Zone. I'm going to keep my eyes out. But this is shocking this is probably one of the shocking most shocking things i've seen in a classic tv show revelation 
in a while and I have seen a lot of these. So I wanna know your thoughts down below. What do you think? Do you think maybe Rod Serling came up with this Mystic Seer devil character early on, made a pin out of it, had them construct a pin, put it on this Cadwallager character, and then a year later made a little version of him in that fortune telling machine? I don't know, but so crazy, so cool, and I love to read your thoughts down below. I love to make these little connections, look at these things which are smaller, details that just mean so much about this classic TV shows and movies. Again, thanks for your support. We'll see you all next time. And don't forget, everyone, be hopeful. Thank you to all my supporters, especially my Diamond Tier patrons. Christopher K, John O, David D, Sally N, Jerry D, Vito L, Citizen Kane, Jennifer P, and Kevin K. If you want to be on this list, make sure to check out the link in the description. It's all of you patron members who make my channel possible. Thanks.